SS10 Garthiniog 1, 12.61 km unchanged from 2016 except for the addition of a blisteringly fast opening 1.3 km. It climbs and descends throughout and plenty of open sections mean visibility is good and drivers have lots of opportunities to attack hard. The surface is soft, especially near the start, and it is likely to become rutted quickly. Home territory for Elfin Evans, who lives close by. SS11 DYFI 1, 25.86 km DYFI, in the shadow of the Snowdonia Mountains, is a GB classic. It's fast and smooth, but a thin layer of slime on the surface will keep drivers attentive. A 4 km section in the middle is very different to the rest of the test. The roadsides are overgrown with bracken and vegetation and it is even more slippery than the other parts. The Belgian climbed to second in a Hyundai i20, after claiming second fastest time in Garthiniog and third in DYFI pictured below to leapfrog both M Sport Ford Fiestas. He heads Estonian tonic by 1.2 sec with championship leader Ogier a further 6.3 sec adrift. I tried to push a bit more but it was hard to make a difference because everyone knows these stages. The road in DYFI was getting more and more slippery so running so far down the start order is difficult, said Newville, who admitted sliding wide at a hairpin. Ogier can secure a fifth straight title this weekend and the Frenchman is not in the mood for gambling on the muddy forest tracks. Mentally, I'm not ready to take enough risks. But I have to try a bit more. The only bad result this weekend would be not to score any points, he said. Leader Elfin Evans continued to dominate. The Welshman won both stages to stretch his advantage to 49.3 sec. Today we have the perfect conditions, we couldn't have wished for better, said the Welshman, whose Fiesta was fitted with a new range of tires developed specifically for such weather. I tried to be neat and tidy and find the right balance. DYFI was more slippery than expected but reasonably consistent. It looks like the passage of cars is making things more slippery. Jeremati Lotva and Andreas Mikkelsen demoted Chris Meek to 7th after the Ulsterman touched a bale in a DYFI chicane and installed his Citroen C3S engine. Lotvala continued to tinker with the settings on his Yaris to try to find more confidence. It's better on the traction side but still understeering, said the Finn, who headed Mikkelsen's I-20 by 4.7 sec with Meek a further half-second adrift. Hyundai duo Danny Sordo and Hayden Patton continued to swap positions in 8th and 9th, with the Kiwi holding sway by 7.3 sec. Yuho Hananen completed the leaderboard after a great run to second fastest in DYFI. Electrical problems affecting the operation of his Fiesta Center differential forced Mads Ostberg to retire in the regroup after DYFI. Head to WRC to see the latest on board and video reports from Dancer Wales Rally GB the 28th of October 2017 Saturday morning double for Rally GB leader the 27th of October 2017 Welshman leads as M Sport Controls top 3 the 27th of October 2017 Tiedemund Clear leader in WRC support category.